Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip. And I'm Mihaela from World Travel Bug. Yeah, this is actually our third episode on our epic road trip around the Southwest. And we are now in Sedona, Arizona, which was really, really high on my list to see here in the US. And you might have noticed that our wheels have shrunk quite a bit from the big RV to this Toyota Tundra and it's a four-wheel drive and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have the the agility to be able to go places where we couldn't really take the RV. Yeah. And so actually on this trip we're in central Arizona. We're going to places like Jerome and Cottonwood and a few other places. So come along with us and let us show you around. <laughs> So on this road trip to Sedona, we actually are kind of doing a loop. And we started off in Phoenix and we're coming through Wickenburg. And our very first stop is here to the Granite Mountain Hotshot Memorial State Park. And this is actually a wonderful hike, but unfortunately it was built around a very tragic incident that took place. I'm not sure if no. you remember hearing about this, no. but uh, I don't remember how many years, quite a few, maybe five, six years ago now, um, there was a horrible forest fire up here. And Hot Shots is a type of firefighter that goes in and uh, fights forest fires. So they were up here and they got caught by a huge shift in the wind, I guess, and they were surrounded by fire and they, oh. they perished. So yeah. it's really, really a sad place, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful area for a memorial. And a lot of the uh, granite boulders uh, have uh, plaques for each of the firefighters who perished. So um, it, it, it's a really great place to come out, pay your respects, but it's also a wonderful hike. Take it before it's gone One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards Leave the words hit me like a game of darts And you're beating So we just climbed up Yarnell Hill outside of Wickenburg, and that's where that uh, Hotshot Memorial State Park is. And just beyond Yarnell is an area called People's Valley. As you'll see, there's a lot of ranches up here. It's really a beautiful area. And this is a nice alternative to going to Sedona rather than going just straight up I-17. with all the secrecy. <laughs> There's no secrecy. Uh, we're here in Prescott right now. Uh -huh. And Prescott, interestingly enough, used to be the capital of Arizona. But when oh. it gained statehood, or shortly thereafter, um, Phoenix became the capital of Arizona. But right behind us, this used to be the capitol building. Oh. Yeah, wow. it's now a courthouse. It looks very impressive. And yeah. when was that? Well, uh, the state, uh, Arizona became a state in 1912 on Valentine's Day. Oh, really? Yeah. How interesting. Yeah. So isn't this a beautiful area? I mean, uh, th there's a lot of people who will congregate here. There'll be uh, concerts. Um, right over here is called Whiskey Row, and they have a lot of bars and things. Oh. And so Shall we go? Yeah, we can, sure. Yeah. I love this little creek and stuff. When it's hot out there, it would be nice to come here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's too bad that restaurant is closed. I've been there a couple times, and it's really good food, but... The Blue Cat. 
Yeah. What's the it's original name? El Gato Azul. Can you say it again? El Gato Azul. Ah. So what is this place? Well, that's a good question. We are at a place called Watson Lake, which is just north of Prescott. And I think also just beyond it's called Granite Dells because this area is just riddled with granite boulders. And it's really a unique geological wonder, don't you think? It is, I thought granite was more black. No. Oh, no. No, no, okay. this is absolutely all granite. Yeah, I confuse yeah. it with something else. Oh God, I wish I was one of those puddle boards. Oh, I know. Wouldn't kayak. that be fun? Yeah. yeah. And it's beautiful weather for that. Yeah, it sure is. We're always short on time <laughs> yeah. to do stuff like That's this. That's true. Yeah. But we bring it to you so you can make the time to come <laughs> to places like this. True. So right now we're en route to Jerome and we're going through the Mingus mountain range which is really a beautiful forest uh, and then it drops right down into the hillside community of Jerome. One last fight before I lose I ask myself where should I We are in Jerome, which is a hillside community that was an old mining town. And for decades, this place had just been abandoned. And in the 1970s, there were a lot of um, just vagrants and vagabonds and artists who came and inhabited some of the abandoned buildings. And over years, this became a really cool, eclectic, and art community and now you see a lot of kind of refined wine bars oh, and yeah. things like that yeah no i can feel the cool vibes yeah. not only feel it but see it winery cellar winery yeah. wine bar cellar <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. heaven What makes Jerome so special is it's truly a little jewel on the hill in Arizona. It's an old mining town, its history is amazing and fun to learn about, and right now you're also in the middle of an art colony as well. So not only do you have the history, but you have the present day artists who are making it a wonderful place to be up here. So right now we're in the Cottonwood and Clarksdale area, and this is actually really an up and coming area of the Verde Valley. And they have a train ride that goes up uh, through the hills, and we're not far from Sedona, which is our next stop. Cannot wait to get there. Yeah. You notice how many wine tasting rooms there are here, or wine bars? Yes. Well, this Verde Valley is actually one of the more popular areas in all of Arizona for wine growing. And I think that's why we saw so many in Jerome as well. Oh, yeah, I would like to spend more time here in this I know. area. <laughs> Me too. And you know, I think the last time I was here, it, this, it's so much more developed right now, and I think it's because of wine. Wine is kind of bringing this down. We just walked in or walked by this uh, boutique hotel, and you're starting to see all these restaurants open up, and I really think it's because of the wine industry. How many times did I tell you? I don't wine know. Wine makes the world go round. <laughs> <laughs> So we made it here to Sedona and wow, 
Is this not an incredible sight? It is, and we are alone. <laughs> yeah, there's only a handful of people here perusing the creek. By the way, this is Oak Creek, and it runs right through Sedona. Our home base while exploring this area of central Arizona was El Portal a wonderful boutique 12-room inn located in the heart of Sedona, nestled within the famed arts and crafts village of Talakapaki. This was also a fantastic place to come back to and relax after a long day of exploring. And speaking of exploring, we did just that, both on foot and off-road. Hey, so right now we're at Slide Rock State Park. And this is one of my favorite parks here in Sedona. Uh, I used to come here when I was a kid all the time, all through adulthood. It, it's really a fascinating place. And the reason it gets its name Slide Rock is that there's some sort of an algae that grows here and there's a natural flume and people will swim in the water and slide oh. down. Yeah. I would like to come here in the summer. Yeah, yeah. To fun. swim here, yeah. We're out here exploring uh, kind of the lower part of Oak Creek and uh, some kind of cool artifacts here. So that's it from here in Sedona and the third episode of our epic road trip throughout the southwest. Yeah, and if you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.